Now, if you enjoy a good book, then you're going to absolutely love this this morning. This weekend in Boulder, you can enjoy literature from all over the world at the Jopura Literature Festival at Boulder. And guess what? The best part? It's free. Managing Director Sanjoy Roy joins us along with Ryan Gaddis to tell us all about it. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for being here. For Thank you. Here. Absolutely. What's the Jampur Literature Festival? What can we expect? Well, you'll have a whole host of uh, debates and discussions and disagreements and agreements. And uh, there's a whole host of topics, everything from migration to environment to the CIA to the Middle East to wow. faith, religion, all of that and more. There's a lot for us to experience then. Absolutely. And for all age groups, you'll have workshops for kids as well. And, you know, so bring the whole family and they'll all enjoy it. And it's free. And who are some of the authors that are taking part, Sandra? So we have a whole host of authors. We have about uh, approximately 100 authors coming from China, from India, from across the subcontinent, UK, USA. There's Latin American authors. There's African Caribbean authors. Margot Jefferson, Kai Bird, Vijay Shadri, Pulitzer Prize winners, and of course... Ryan right hey, here, Ryan. all the way from L.A. <laughs> Why did you decide to take part in this? Oh my gosh, I had to beg them to be part of it. You know, the JLF is the foremost literary festival in the world. And I'm originally from Colorado. You are? Absolutely. Okay, but you're in living Colorado in L.A. Springs. right now? Yep, I live in L.A., but I grew up in Colorado Springs. And I just didn't have anywhere near uh, the cultural opportunities growing up that the JLF presents. So this is a, a truly wonderful event, and I'm really happy to support it. What are you hoping it's going to be like in Boulder? Gosh, you know, honestly, I, I hope there'll be a tremendous amount of dialogue. Yeah. You know, I, I know there'll be a, a lot of differing perspectives, and, and more than anything, I just hope people will, will listen and be mm -hmm. open, and, and we'll, we'll see where it goes. What are the sessions going to be like, Sanjoy? Uh, so we have four uh, sessions every hour on the hour, on the Saturday and the Sunday. There's morning music, there's evening music. Like I said, the idea is not so much reading from a book, per se, mm -hmm. but it's really about discussing the issues that are in the book. So... Everything from water to environment to same sex to gun laws to CIA to the bad guys in the Middle East. To, you know, everything's everything. going to be there. Nothing's Absolutely. off the table. Nothing's off the table. And what will your session be like, Ryan? Well, I'm, I'm in a number of sessions. Uh, one is uh, emergent narratives in new media. Uh, I'm part of a street art crew in LA, so I'll talk about telling stories on walls. I'm also in a session called Cities and Their Shadows, mm -hmm. and I'll talk about, you know, doing. Uh, a lot of research with former Latino gang members in Los Angeles. Goodness. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be wide-ranging and, and amazing. I see you're holding a book, your book. I am, yes, it's my book. All Involved. Yes. Is that your latest novel? It is, indeed, yeah. Would you mind reading an excerpt from it? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Uh, this is actually, uh, takes place during the six days of the LA riots. And this particular section is from a firefighter on day three. There's a helicopter overhead. It looks like Channel 7. It's shining a light down on us like we're at the bottom of a deep, dark hole. The people who live around here, they know what that actually feels like. They know how ugly life can get. Everybody else, the people sitting at home watching this unfold on television, they have no idea. Those are the people shocked by the riots. They can't comprehend them because they don't understand the other side. They don't understand what happens to people with no money who live in a neighborhood where crime is actually a viable career path when there are no other opportunities. And I'm not excusing it or condoning it or saying it can't be avoided, but I'm saying that's how it is. How did you investigate to write this novel? You know, it, it, was, it was a very long process, you know, but I spent a tremendous amount of time with, with former Latino gang members and, and really uh, tried to uh, provide a different perspective. You know, mm -hmm. the LA riots in general, are, 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 I think as a narrative, are very black and white. Uh, but what I was going for was, was the grayness and to talk about the diversity of Los Angeles, which I think in many ways, you know, the JLF is all about celebrating. Absolutely. That's a great point. Why do you think people should attend the JLF? As Ryan said, you know, it's really about the other point of view. We all tend to protect that point of view that we think is, is the point of view. But for every situation, we know there are many points of view. And in today's divisive world, it's very important to always understand the other. Mm -hmm. Always keep your mind open and know that there's one point of view, as he's written in his book. There's another point of view that's also represented there. 
and both are equally true. And that's a good lesson too. If you attend these sessions, uh, there may be some heated discussions, but keep an open mind, understand where other people are coming from. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. JLF at Boulder is going on all weekend long. Now the festival will be held at the Boulder Library and Civic Lawns. For a complete list of events this weekend and to register, please visit the website. It's jepreliteraturefestival.org.